Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today I want to show you some working rigs for 2021. Uh, the latest wave, starting with this one. Oh, and uh, towards the end of the, the show, we'll uh, bring in a few party tricks. A few friends to welcome in the new rigs. But yes, we have this one, the Cement King HD. I imagine HD stands for heavy duty or heavy duty, depending on how you talk. Uh, there is the back. If you want some info off that. Uh, I won't spend a lot of time on this one, but I will rip it open. This is a unlicensed vehicle. I've done quite a good job of the shape of this one though. Um, Let's have a look uh, before I destroy it. 8 of 16. Getting used to a new casting um, takes some time sometimes. I remember um, as I prepare to go off on a tangent, um, I used to own a AU Falcon, which was a 1990 Falcon. Um, it was about three years old when I bought it, um, and it was very plasticky compared to the uh, 80s Falcons, the XDs and XEs and things. But um, when I had my AU Falcon, as we dreamily look at the cement mixer, um, when I had my AU Falcon, I had um, a friend that was a big Holden fan. And he gleefully, spitefully told me that the Falcon had just been replaced. This would have been about 95 um, for the EF Falcon. And I should go down to the Ford dealer down the street and uh, check it out, which I promptly did. And I was horrified at what they'd done to my Falcon. Um, the EF Falcon has very strange taillights. It's very rounded. Um, it's, yeah... I was heartbroken, but fast forward all these years and the EF Falcon that uh, I was so shocked by is now my favourite Falcon um, after the BA Falcon, BA being the last shape they did, but um, I suspect some of these castings will be the same in my collection, um, although this is unlicensed so therefore nameless. Um, it's a good looking truck. Uh, if you compare it to some of the modern trucks, um, the modern trucks you kids drive these days, <laughs> it's a sign of getting old, isn't it? Um, it? I think this holds up quite well. Rant over, or uh, tangent over, have a look at the base, just as Cement King HD. Um, I'll tilt the truck properly this time. I noticed in uh, my last couple of videos I do this with a lot because I'm actually behind your point of view um, and a, a full head and neck taller. So I'm, I'm doing this having a, a great old time um, whereas I should be doing more of this and uh, sinking back onto my little bar stool behind you so we both get roughly the same angle. So there it is. That was a big old descriptive chat about not the truck we were looking at. <laughs> Second cab off the rank, Ranek. This is the Road Scraper, another Matchbox unlicensed vehicle, number 5 of 16. Ta da! Um, fairly okay card work. But we're not here for that, are we? We're here to cover the desk in cardboard dust. Uh oh. My uh, vicious hunting knife to the rescue. Also good for butter. And reluctant little star. The 
There goes that uh, layer of cardboard dust. There we are. Road scraper. Hmm. More Rannick for the collection. I don't think I have a road scraper at all. So first one of these for the collection. Mm -hmm. Plastic base. 2018. So... I missed last year's apparently. It's very solid. It's very metal. Yeah, there's quite a decent amount of weight to that. Articulated. For maneuverability in the dirt. As you'd need. I'm sure it would be fun to drive one of these. And uh back up. Bit of a pause for a sneeze there. Um, so yeah. There is the Renek Duo. I have some more Renek in the 164 scale or thereabouts. But I think these are the only two working rigs or real working rigs as they used to be called in Renek I have to date. A little bit of research and running through the collection this morning before rolling. Um, we better put the right ones in the foreground, like that. Let's go to this baby. Um, nice to see this in this year's lineup the Pierce Velocity Aerial Platform Fire Truck, known as a fire engine in Australia. Uh, very imposing government building in the background. Very formal and overbearing. <laughs> Appropriately for government. Um, 7 of 16. The back. And the ripped open card. Hmm. They're doing a good job on these... Uh, cards so we don't get them open. Just got to be careful not to do um, any damage to the model. I'm really not sure about gold fire engines. Let me know in the comments if your area has gold fire engines. But Australia is the classic red and white, more red than white. Um, that's kind of snazzy. Let's see if I can. Oops. Seems to be no decent backstop on that. Because I ripped the last one off, I reviewed as well. Let's give them some clear background. Mm -hmm. How far does that go up? I popped the basket off the last one too and um, managed to get it back on but uh, have to extend that. there we go. Not scared of heights, inquire within. It's a nice looking truck. Um, and here is the last one they brought out in the classic fire engine colours. See, I managed to get that basket back on. Oops, see, did it again. There should be a bit of a backstop there. Speak to uh, human resources. We're running out of firemen. Get a decent backstop on our extending ladder. There we are, meeting for lunch. Very nice. So yeah, look at... Uh, put this back down so we can have a decent look at it. Hmm. Bit too fiddly for my liking. 
Or maybe I'm a bit too clumsy for its liking, but I'll meet halfway and be a little more careful. Snake Bend Fire Department. Cool name. Station 50, is that an 8 or a 6? Did I pass my test? I hedge my bets, 50 something. Nice. So just tempoed in lights. Pop that up so we can look at the interior. Take that off so we can look at the interior. Decent sized truck wheels, they match. No tempo on the back. Nice weighty model. I like it. I like the name too. Not really into the non red and white fire engines, but if they're going to mix it up, they should mix it up. That goes there. Hmm. Feels like they need to be level, just in case. Yeah, that's good. So that is the fire. Oh, we've got a little buddy of theirs. Um, similar but not the same. That came out um, with that one, so maybe there'll be a, a variant of that one this year as well. It's just the aerial ladder truck. Pierce, what did they call that? Quantum? 75. Yeah, I like it. So they were the backups, weren't they? That one was today's, as was that, as was that, as is this. The International Juristar 4400 Flatbed Transporter. Um, where is the number? Oh, there it is. Can't see for looking. Uh, 6 of 16. Really? Okay. Right way on the floor for another card now. So I'm curious. No. 16 it is then. I thought that was a set of 20. I'm wrong. The back. And let's have a look. That's the same card art as the first one. Kind of suits. Let's get it open. Oh, that's satisfying, isn't it? Ooh. I think I've mentioned this before, but I've got a real thing for red at the moment. That's not the deepest, richest red there is, but that's nice. What have we here? I'll leave the reading to you with your 2020 vision and 76 inch screen. Nice chrome, a bit of a wobbly back end. We'll get his friends on in a second to compare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's been around since 2009. I have a few, but not that many. Maybe they didn't bring it out every year. Yeah, that uh, flatbed is really loose on this one. But it's a good looking vehicle. Hmm. Alright, let's get some party friends. Um, I uh, can't remember which was which. We'll bring this out. And we'll bring this out. Which 
Should we bring you down a second? Hang on. There we go. All right. So I'll keep the stars in the foreground, the party freaks in the background, and let's line these guys up. So we'll load them up with some cars. At first I thought, wouldn't it be good to get a little car on? But it's all about the scale, isn't it? It doesn't matter how little the car is. If the scale's out of whack, then it's going to be out of whack. Same as that one. I thought that would look good, but it looks a bit silly. And um, we should be doing it with today's truck. I oh, know, they're all fairly loose. But, um, yeah, get those out of there. And... Again, the colour would have looked good there, but the car looks off. Masters. And black goes with anything, she says. But size does not. Bigger car, different scale, I think. But again, it's a bit off. Um, so then I decided... Oh, before I do that, this is how they did it in the 80s. Oh, no. Really different kettle of fish there. Um, can't really compare, can you? It's got the cooler wheels, it's got more metal, although the plate the base is plastic and blindy chrome. Uh, that's the Kenworth? I'm sure it was the Kenworth. Yeah, Kenworth cab over. Race and transporter. And the oh so cool stingray for the fit, but we won't show up the new guys. This is what we're dealing with here. See what I mean about the AU Falcon, EF Falcon thing? Um, if you put old and new together, you're never going to like the new um, at first. So we go new for new, um, some 70s and 80s. American metal. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Oh yeah. These are the sort of cars that should drive themselves to car shows. Um, should we go with that one? You in shot? No, you're not in shot. Oh baby. As Britney Spears would say. Yeah, tail end hanging out. Should have the engines running so um, the fumes were spewing out all over everybody at the lights. They look good. Colour looks good. Should weighs it up with a bit of green to balance the palette. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, looks like the, uh, the lads are off to a car show. Um, a bit worried about fuel economy and uh, decide to hire a truck to get it there. Maybe they're a bit worried about reliance. Yeah. Any excuse to bring out the big American cars. Let's arrange them in a photogenic way, he says. The Oldsmobile, the Buick, the Caddies, the Caprices. Fantastic. Now, um, Mm, who's going to go best on that colour? Probably neutral. This isn't interior designs. Maybe something like that. Mm. And we'll go blue on white. And we'll go white on blue. Yeah, that looks good. See? Off to the motor show. Or maybe car auction. Or maybe the car auction's over. And uh, the new owners are going to take delivery of their vehicles. But we'll go for end shot now. Party out of the way. It's always nice to bring out friends to welcome in the new castings. Sweet. We'll put 
some space to separate the new with the old. And we'll do a sweeping shot. And there we have it. The latest wave of 2021 working rigs from Matchbox. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below, especially if your area gets golden black fire engines. I'm sure somebody does. I'll see you next time. Bye.